do all business. As okay. Status of, of our current rentals um, has been brought to our attention that um, there was a house that was sold, and obviously they have the same renter in there, etc. But we do not have anything on file, which um, we are contacting the new owner. If he kept the same renter, we need to know that that's what's going on there. So the address is. 58 at 23358 Old Meadowbrook Circle. I think it's 58. I'm pretty sure. And the name is, it begins with an N. I talked to Susie about that today, so she knows. That's right. Okay. Let's see. Attorney collections update. The Tarquino issue um, has just um, finished in court. And I'm happy to say that hopefully this will be the end of it, that Mr. Tarquino has, rather than making the man go to jail, I mean, he has until the 15th of January to get rid of his truck, sell it, or whatever he wants to do with it. And if it is still on, the pro on Meadowbrook property by the 15th of January, that we can have it towed, and he will never be able to drive it in Meadowbrook again. And he has also paid the attorney fees. So hopefully that's the end of that. The Senate's property on 4109, that's in bank foreclosure, and that's still in the hands of the attorney. The science property is still in the hands of the attorney. That's 23411 Old Meadowbrook Circle. Nova Star, um, I believe we just got something from Nova Star because we were going to foreclose and they agreed to send us um, what is owed. So hopefully that is taken care of. Wait, to you mean what is owed including the attorney fees? Oh yes, what's owed? Well, that includes the attorney fees. And uh, 23345, uh, the property owner is continuing to making payments to um, bring himself up to date with his what he owes the association. 4152, Gumbo Limbo. Um, we can proceed with the claim of lien and we will be sending the ledger to the attorney. Um, the 4113 Old Meadowbrook Lane is, um, well, from what we understand, the uh, closing is at, at some time this, this week or was last week. We we're just waiting to hear from the attorney. But the fine will be paid and the lien will be paid in all the attorney fees. So that's, that brings us up to date with the, um, the status report from the attorney. Okay. All right. Now we'll go to new business. And we've already taken care of the appointments of the new committees. Uh, there is a question on the quarterly billing with the booklets or to send bills. My personal opinion is that I think these booklets, when they get sent to the people, that's very easy for them to put them in a drawer, whatever, and then all of a sudden the quarter comes and it's very easy to forget about them. And I think we've found in the past, we've done this over the years, first it's billing, then it's books, then it's this. But I, I really and truly feel that it's a lot easier for people to receive a bill and then they know it's there and it has to be paid instead of getting a booklet once a year and throwing it in, 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 the, um, in the drawer and then all of a sudden say, oh my God, I forgot to pay. Now they end up with a, with a late fee, etc. I just think we should make it easier for everybody in there. So in here, so I, I, my, my suggestion is that we have orderly billing. Now, uh, how does the board feel? Where's the truck? 
try and see if it works out better when people are being are paying late because they miss miss their books so late go on the line. It might help. I mean, when you see them twice this way, if it works fine. If not, we we'll always go back the other way. Reminder never hurts anybody. This way, if they get the letter to remind them, there's no more excuses. I, I can see sending out a letter quarterly with the coupon in with the letter so that the payment goes directly to the lockbox rather than to the association office. It's much better for it to go to the lockbox and maybe that would get them, you know, we had so much trouble with coupons last year that uh, I think it would be better to try something new in it, a quarterly letter. We'll send out a letter after the budget meeting maybe I don't know if we'll have coupons ready by then or not, but explaining to people what we're going to do. So I think that should be, and it, I would make a motion that we do the letters quarterly and that we explain in the letter that goes out showing the 2012 assessment exactly how it's going to be handled. Whatever, it, yeah, the coupon usually has a label attached with it, so we'll let the management company work out some of that stuff, I think. Um, so, is that they're all in favor of sending out the quarterly billing? Should we make a motion? Yeah, I did make a motion. Is there a second to that motion? I'll second. Okay, there's no more discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, the motion is carried. We will now be sending out quarterly billing statements. Um, I have one other thing under new business. Well, we have a couple things. Go ahead. Um, Looking at the uh, aging report, uh, some of these are getting kind of big, and I think that we should consider sending anything that's over $800 to the attorney to follow up on. That's over a year's worth of assessments. So I, I would make that as a motion. Assessments or a bond. I'll yeah. Any, any balance over $800. Is there a second to that? Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Other new business, I also need to let some of you know that there was a break-in in, um, in Meadowbrook. But people have to realize that you have to be very careful where you go and what your conversation is. I mean, you can go to a gym and you can go here and, and it's all idle chit-chat and, and whatever. But the whole thing is you never know who's listening. You can't be telling everybody how your jewelry is and, and this type of thing and then say, oh yeah, well I won't be back for a couple of days because we're going away. Well, you just don't, you know, it's a shame that this is the world that we live in. But the whole thing is, you never know who's listening. So you really do have to be very careful. And when you leave, make sure your doors are locked, make sure your bolt is, is, is um, on your door. I know there's a lot of people in here that have changed their doors and stuff in the community and whatever. But the whole thing is you have to make sure that your house is secure before you leave so that nobody can come in with a credit card and just swipe, in they go and out they go with all your possessions or whatever you were bragging about that you had. So you really do need to be aware of your surroundings, and you also need to watch your neighbor's house. Now, this particular person turned around, parked in a, in a house that was for sale across the street, so nobody knew whether there was somebody in the house working or whatever, walked across the street and just did their thing and left. But the whole thing, if something doesn't look right, it only takes a minute to write down a license plate number. So then if you hear something, you can say, well, wait a minute, that didn't look right to me. I wrote down the number. We all